A while ago I did a video about crocheting a washcloth and a couple of you wrote me and said that you found it really difficult to follow and after watching the video again I, I completely agree, it's, it's a very difficult video to watch. So I want to redo it and I want to do it with a better voiceover and um, zoomed in better and slower. So I hope this is um, a little easier for you to, to follow. And also I'm really sorry I am a little bit sick so my voice might not be that nice to listen to. Alright, so I found a large hook and some very large yarn. Um, this hook and this yarn would not make a great um, washcloth really because this is some stretch fabric that has been made into to yarn and it's great for other things but it's not very absorbent and it yeah it just wouldn't be a good <laughs> um washcloth and i also think the needle is too big the the um pattern that i have given you with specific um stitches is for a three millimeter hook or two millimeter hook and yarn that goes with that but this is just much easier to show you with and it is a little it shows up better on camera so start by making a slip knot and you just do that there are many ways of doing that but i do it this way you put the yarn oh, I'm sorry <laughs> you put the yarn around your finger and make a loop then you insert the hook into that loop and you get the yarn and then you pull it through so now you can adjust it by pulling on this tail. Now we're going to chain, and I think it's 40, but I'm not going to chain 40 with you because that's going to be a lot in this, this very big yarn. So I am just going to chain a couple. To chain, you go out and you get the yarn, do a yarn over, and then you pull through the, the loop that is already on your hook. So go out, yarn over, pull through. And you're just going to continue. And if you don't want to follow my pattern, that is completely fine. Then you'll just um, chain as many as you need for the size that you want. So if you want a very big washcloth, just make it bigger. Just make more chains. If you want it very small, just make fewer. But it is going to be square. So just remember, <laughs> remember, oh, not square. It's going to be a, a, a rectangle or a square, <laughs> but... Um, this is not going to make any of those like little round dishcloths, that was what I was trying to say. <laughs> when you have the size that you want, chain one more, and that is just to get some height on our first, first stitch. And then you're going to skip this, you can't really work into that one because you have your stitch coming out of it. So you're going to go into essentially the second stitch on from the hook, you're going to yarn over and draw up a loop, like that. Now you have two loops on your hook, and if you yarn over and go through both of those, like that, you will have made one single crochet, in American terms. And you're just going to continue doing one single crochet in each of your chain stitches, all the way down. So every time you see a little a little V or a little piece of yarn here with a hole underneath, you just need to go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through two. Oh, sorry. It's really difficult in this giant yarn. <laughs> or it, it might not be, but I'm not very used to working in this <laughs> in this big yarn. So just work down the chain here.
when you get to the first one, it's probably going to be a little bit adjustable. So make sure you don't lose your start <laughs> tail here. And should you accidentally pull it really big, just pull on that tail and it will close itself. Now to turn, you're going to chain one. So just yarn over and go through the one loop on your hook. And then you're going to turn. And yours shouldn't be... <laughs> it shouldn't be um, curling as much as mine is. I think that is because the yarn is super stretchy. Most cotton yarns that you would use for this class are not are not this stretchy. <laughs> now, when you look at these stitches, you have three um, pieces of yarn going into each stitch. You have your V on top here, and it consists of the first um, the first link in your in your stitch, the second one, and then the third one is back here underneath. It's a little hard to see maybe, but there is a third stitch down here. What you could do is you could do normal single crochet. So you could go through both of these stitches and then yarn over and finish that. But I think that makes the washcloth a little stiff. So in order to obtain a, a fabric that is a little bit um, more pliable, a little bit nicer to, to work with, I'm just going through the first. So this one. Then I'm pulling my yarn through and then yarning over and pulling through both of those loops. So not you're not just going to punch in through both of these, you're just going to go into into the first part of the stitch here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. We go in through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through two. And you can see that you've done this correctly if on the back you have a line here. So this is the middle link in your stitch lying here. And your third one is lying underneath there. And that just means that the, um, the connection between the stitches is a little bit looser than had you go gone through um, both of those links. So just continue doing this. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way down. And when you get to the edge, it should look like this. So you'll have one stitch and then something <laughs> down there. And you're just going to go into that stitch also. Just like you did with every other... Oh, sorry. Here we are. Just with every... Just like the other stitches. And you're going to finish a single crochet here. And to turn, you're going to chain one. So yarn over, go through the one loop on your hook and then turn the entire work. And now you can see this line here, which means that we did not work in that, in this part of the stitch. And to continue on, you're going to, to just repeat that row for every row as long as you want the dishcloth or washcloth. <laughs> so just find your first link, your second and your third down here, and then just go through the first one, the front one. Yarn over. And go through both of those. And you'll just... <laughs> I think I mentioned in the pattern how many you should do, but if, of course if you want to do another size, just do whatever fits into your... Um, into your use. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching and hope to see you again next Friday.